Hey, I'm Al Corlin. Thanks for joining me. We are in Vancouver, British Columbia right now shooting some video and we're chatting with a gentleman who I have not met before, Mark Prefontaine. Mark is uh, cut his teeth, for lack of better terms, after, uh, after getting a master's degree uh, in the field, of working with Hunter Dickinson, went out on his own and started a company called Grade Resources. Uh, Grade Resources is very, very active down in Mexico. The company is about 85% institutionally held. Production is right around the corner, and on top of that, you know what? The the upside, uh, con which consists of the other assets that Grade has, is really, really phenomenal. Tell us about it. Well, about seven years ago, I put together the a large land position in northern Mexico in the the north half of the Mulatto's Gold Belt. Mm -hmm. It's so it, it adjoins Alamos Gold that produces 150,000 ounces Pretty a year. Pretty prolific area. And, yeah. yeah, and they and, and it's in the belt. Uh, Mine Finders is 70, uh -huh. six, 45 kilometers away. Pinos Altos is 65 kilometers. So it's right in that belt. Mm -hmm. And we quietly built together and made a discovery, put together a million ounces, and have just completed a scoping study on it. And and now going through the feasibility. That is our development story, and it's, as I said, it's a very large land position. It's 260 square kilometers and probably growing. It will also, we've also had a new discovery. So our story is that we have a million ounces that will go through feasibility. It's a dead simple project, oxide, open pit heap leach. It will, develop, it will produce about 100,000 ounces a year for 10 to 12 years. Um, What's wrong with that? nothing at exactly. all in these gold prices right and especially if you start you know all the economics are done at around nine hundred dollars gold mm -hmm. if you start putting today's gold prices on it, it well it lets Gets your better and better yeah it lets yeah. your imagination run wild but sure but it, it's a good solid project and I think most analysts will acknowledge that it's probably one of the simpler more solid of these hundred thousand ounce a year million ounce um, deposits in Mexico and with our new discovery, I really think we're probably the, probably the most exciting pure gold exploration play in Mexico right tell, now. Tell me about the new discovery. The new discovery is called Tarachi. Mm -hmm. It's 10 kilometers north, so it would be a separate operation. We've defined a huge area, and it's a gold porphyry. Mm -hmm. And these gold porphyries lend themselves to open pit. It's the mineralization, like the main, like the main deposit we have, starts at surface. And they, you know, it, it looks exactly, and, and, and most analysts and geologists that have looked at it, we got a lot of traction during the Cordillera and Roundup at the Core Shack we were invited mm -hmm. to present at, because the geologists were coming up and going, this just looks like the Maracunga Belt. And, right. and you know, Bima, now Kinross, has a six million ounce deposit producing 200,000 200, ounces a year, and we have the same sort of aerial extent. Mm -hmm. and, even with our drill holes right now, we've defined one area. They're, they're in two deposits. We have one area, you know, just what we've defined so far, that if you put the footprint of one of their Maracunga deposits on ours, theirs is 2.7 million ounces. You know, it fits. It, it has a lot of similarities. So mm. we have uh, just one drill turning right now. We're, now that we understand it, we're going, we're, we've just ordered two more drills. So we're going to drill the bejesus out of that. So it sounds like in terms of news flow, it's going to be significant. It, it know, will, th yeah. I mean, throughout, it, at least throughout Starting in May, I think the yeah, news flow yeah. will be very, very solid. In terms of, I mean, you've got, you, it would appear, and I mean, and you, you know, you're, you're a knowledgeable guy, and I don't think, you know, and I'm sure that, that you've done a lot of studying on, on your various assets, but it would appear that the assets themselves are very sound. Okay, now having said that, ta tell our listeners a little bit, if you would, about the uh, the management team, the technical people who are actually putting this thing together and making sure it'll happen, right, and yeah. then touch on, you know, your capital situation as to whether or not. I mean, are you going to need to raise more money in the future? You know what? Right now, I think we have between four and five million dollars in the treasury. Okay. Um, a burn rate will probably go up to seven hundred thousand when those extra two drills come. So you're okay for a while. Oh, we're totally yeah, great. Yeah. Uh, we want to get some results and try to get this thing, try to get this new Tarachi discovery, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. get some more meat and potatoes, more bones on it before we go back to market. Okay, but what about the guys putting the meat and potatoes the on meat the table? Meat and potatoes. So to speak? Well, I'm the CEO. I'm a MSC geologist right. that have worked for the majors and Hunter right. Dickinson for 25 years. Right. I took over grade because of the VP, our VP exploration, Hans Smith. 
He was my boss at Lack Minerals. He's one of the hardest working, smartest geologists. Years ago, we had a joint venture when we first started out with Newmont. Uh, they only stayed for a year. Mm -hmm. And when they left, one of their most senior economic geologists that did his PhD, he's 58 years old, he climbs mountains for a hobby and ski mm -hmm. races for a hobby. He left, took early retirement from Newmont and joined us as our chief geologist. Wow. Just had two publications in economic geology okay. in the past three months. Like th This guy is good. And so that's our exploration team. Two years ago when New Gold and Merge formed and took over Metallica Resources, mm -hmm. the CEO of Metallica, Richard Hall, who's built seven mines, I managed to talk, talk him into joining our board, and when he came in, he goes, look, you're a bunch of exploration geologists running around wild with drills in the bush. You need to show your, the institutions in the street that what you have right now works, so let's get focused on that. And th that evolved into a scoping study, and with him has come his whole development team in some form, either as on board or advisors or consultants working with us, and they quarterback that scoping study and doing the, the, uh, the feasibility. Well, Mark, you obviously did something right because 85% of your shares are now held by institutions. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, they've, they've you know, taken notice, for lack of better terms. Yeah. The thing that I find interesting is you mentioned that your stock right now is trading around $1.70, okay? Yeah. Uh, but the analysts, the analytical community up here in Canada, the, you know, the folks who work for the various brokerage firms, uh, who are pretty savvy people, I have to add. They've got a target of around 270 on your stock that's right correct. now. That's correct, yes. Yeah. There's three of them at, at around 270. And okay. that's that. they came out with their formal coverages last fall around the time of the scoping study. And that's basically just based on the million ounce main right, deposit right. that's going through feasibility. I think they're all they're all visiting and paying close attention to Tarachi. Tarachi starting to gain. We got a lot of mm -hmm. attention at the PDAC. Mm -hmm. Tarachi's starting to come into its own right now, and so I think that you'll see the analysts will give it another few rounds of drilling, and then I think you'll start seeing us uh, get some traction from Tarachi. Tarachi, we haven't we've drilled 45 holes and have hit gold in every single hole on Tarachi. It's, it's a low-grade deposit. These deposits tend to be between 0.7 and 0.9 grams per ton. Mm -hmm. We're right in line with that. Mm -hmm. Some higher-grade zones, mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. lower-grade zones. But they work, and they produce big ounces. And that's, that's, that's where all of our drilling is right now. That's our focus. I think it's yeah. going to change the whole outlook of the company. It'll take about two, three months. Pretty interesting situation. Okay, interest of full disclosure, a couple of things. Big Al does not have an equity position in this company at this point. This is kind of my introduction to the company, so let me say that should I decide to buy shares in the future, I will let you know three days ahead of time on our website if I decide to do that. Uh, secondly, uh, don't take this as investment advice because it's not. I'm not a registered investment advisor. I'm just a guy who's been kicking around in this industry for about 35 years. Mark, always a pleasure. Thanks, man. Thank you very much for your time, Al.